Another really cool feature I like on the MDC, of course, is the ability to have other screens you can access. So whenever this button's lit, this window button's lit, that means there's a window, wherever that cursor's at, that opens up to give us more features that we can access. So in this case, I've got it on sequence. I can move it down to here, it'll change someplace else. I'll go to bars. And wherever it opens up a window to, it will. And sometimes, it cuts off. Now here I'm on velocity in the uh, section on my um, main window and this button is not lit. That means there's no extra window to it. So whenever you're using your MPC 5000 and you're looking for maybe more features to help you add something to your track or find out what it actually does, that feature might help you get something going on in the music, you can um, go to that window. So we go back up here, that window's lit, I press shift, press the window button and they give you the window that's set up for that particular parameter. Um, I've got these sounds already in our MPC from that Stone Basics. Now, we have these mode buttons. Several pads. Pads 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Well, this pad 2 is not a mode. So you have 15 modes. You press mode. Here we can press Q link and this Q link screen comes up and each one of these Q buttons or sliders we can set a parameter there. Now of course the window here is lit, lit the window button's lit. I can press shift and press window button and it gets our Q link edit parameters. So we can select the parameter for let's say this sound here. I can pull down, go to tuning, I'll say I want it to be tuning, and I'll set that for tuning, I'll go to here, I'll turn control on, let's see I can make it up to 127, I'll press close, and now I can tune, see, I can tune that drum. I can make the tuning for that. Now here's our Q-Link screen as you can see right here. We can see this Q-Link screen that we can select the program. We have slider Q1 all the way to Q12. I'm going to slider Q1. We have real time and we have note on. This is real time in this sense, in this case. And we can do tuning, we can do cutoff, we can do attack, we can do decay, release, pan, resonance, level, and effect send. This is kind of cool. I just did tuning. I can do, I'm going to try this resonance. I haven't heard this yet. Let's try the resonance. I'll press this here. And now I'll check it out. Okay, I'll select the resonance and we'll check it out. It's got no effect on this sound. So obviously, if you've got some parameters set for a particular sound, you've got to make sure it matches that sound. Now, resonance will probably work with some sort of effect sound, you know, some sort of like Moog sound or a keyboard sound, but it won't work with the drum sound. reason why I selected it. So you've got to make sure you're selecting the right sound for your cue link when you want to use it for this, let's say, or this runny pad. You can have more than one sound, of course, also. We can have more than one effect. We can go here, we can press mode again. Right, we'll press shift again and go to the window and so here we have resonance we're going to take that off and we're going to make sure go back to the tuning again for that first one I can also let's say select another slider if we want to for that same drum see I hit the drum and it's a sign there and instead of doing tuning on the second slider I can add let's say an effect center or a level so, we'll try an effect send. And to turn it on, we'll go to control. And of course, we're going to go to 127. And we'll press close. Now we have a send for that sound. Into an effect. We've got such an effect to actually send it to. 